Tonight about an executive order putting federal law enforcement officers on notice. And while this is a federal order, President Joe Biden also wants local police to follow it as well. 11 Alive's John Sherrick explains what changes are in store. A night of reflection, two years after George Floyd's death, two years since the onset of a summer of protests against police brutality and racial injustices, and two years later to the day, a presidential decree. To heal the very soul of this nation. President Joe Biden signing an executive order specifying a long list of reforms that federal law enforcement must implement, and ultimately he expects local law enforcement too, to put an end to excessive use of force that too often has targeted minorities. They're trying to set a mark for local law enforcement to follow. Atlanta civil rights attorney Mawuli Davis, who is suing police in excessive force cases, welcomes the new federal standards as a first step to help local police. We have to protect citizens, and at the same time, it also protects law enforcement. That's what I think people miss. The fewer instances of police brutality that we have, the safer everyone is. One of the mandates, a new national database to track all federal officers who have disciplinary records. Local police will be encouraged with funding incentives to include their own disciplined officers on the database as well. Former DeKalb County Public Safety Director, Dr. Cedric Alexander. It is good to have a database so we can track those individuals who may have been terminated, who have long extensive histories of some improprieties. Because what we don't want, what good cops don't want, they don't want those bad individuals moving around from department to department. The reforms a start, Alexander says, that could have saved lives if they had become part of policing years ago. In Atlanta, John Shurek, 11 Alive News.